super awesome episode today. Right, Debbie Dude? Yeah! Because what do we have? We have the Digimon colors! We've got the Digimon pendulum colors Ooh. is what we have. There's a lot going on in these devices. We're going to be unboxing all three versions. We're going to be doing full playthroughs for you guys. So make sure you keep on following. Watch the whole episode for all the details because there are new features added to these devices that have never been in any other Digimon device before. And we're going to be talking about everything about them. All right, David Dude, run an intro for us. Okay. Beep. Don't forget, dudes, we have our giveaway going on right now. You can win everything you see here in the Digi Dudes giveaway box. We have an original version one Japanese DM, a Pendulum version one, four packs of BT14, rare vintage Japanese Digimon cards, two Atmon mystery boxes, plus a hand painted DM 20th that I made myself. All you have to do to enter is fill out the Google form down in the description, be subscribed, and that is it. If you're a paid Patreon supporter though, you automatically get three bonus entries. So, I hope everyone enjoys this. I'm super excited about it. Debbie Dude's going crazy over this box. All right, dudes, get out there, enter the giveaway you have until April 1st. April 1st, 2024, the giveaway will be closed and I will be doing the drawing soon after that. All right, dudes, have a digitastic time. Like we said, dudes, we have the pendulum colors here and we managed to get our hands on all three versions. We've got the version one, Nature Spirit, version two, Deep Savers, and our personal favorite, the version three, Nightmare Soldier. We yeah. are really excited about these. Let's start unboxing them and talking about them. We'll start with number one and check out the box. This thing looks so beautiful. Let's scoot these forward a little bit. Give us a little bit more room. I love the pendulum boxes in general, but these just look so good. I love how nice the metallic shine is on this. Oh, showing off the Jogress feature on the side. Got a bunch of stuff on the back, promoting the Digimon website right here. This is actually a really useful website with lots of great information about Digimon and devices. And then here just giving you an overview on how these things generally work. These look so nice. And now we'll move on to the Deep Savers. Um, with Dolphmon here as the English name, but I think it's Rakumon is the Japanese name for him. Looking so good. I love the blue on the box here. It is a great shade. And again. And it glares too. It kind of shines, you mean, right? Yes. Yeah. And then yes. right here we got the Jogress feature again. And the back is the same. Now let's check the same out. same old boring thing. Our. And Nightmare Soldier! Our personal favorite. My, hands down, one of my top three favorite devices of all time right here. This thing looks so good. It's got this Wizmon on it. This is my first it. favorite device. It's got Wizmon here, or Wizardmon for the actual English dub version, because they added the D. That red looks good, too, on the package. <laughs> you just called him Wizmon. Because uh, Wizmon is his, actually, technically his Japanese name. Oh. And then Wizardmon is his English name. Oh. Mm-hmm. Looking so nice. If you guys could not tell, the Pendulum Nightmare Soldier might possibly be my favorite device, like I said. Also, you might Daddy has this exact stickers. one tattooed on my arm. You can also notice some stickers. I, I do. Well, we're going to address that right now. Before you guys start telling me in the comments my arms are covered in stickers, I know this. Pico Devi Dude is the boo-boo doctor right now, <laughs> and I'm covered in band-aids to fix my boo-boos. So, <laughs> He's very broken. Apparently. <laughs> Let's start opening these up. Up. Well, they rip really easily. It's a warning to you guys if you want to save your boxes. These things do rip really I can easily. Do it, Daddy. We're actually going to pop off one sec here on camera. I'm going to grab something special to open them with and we'll be right back. Uh. I'm back, dudes. I went and grabbed a lifter tool 
to get underneath them and pop them open so I didn't damage any of the packaging. I went and opened all of them already. Yeah, I did damage this one a little bit. Oh no, where's the damage, did we, dude? Right here. It's not... No, it's no not I didn't do that. That was folded in when I opened it. Wait, what? Yup. Are you sure? I'm positive. All right, so let's pull them out, did we, dude? Yeah. So, I'm going to gently slide them out. We have inside, we get the user manual. Okay. Here. And we pop out our charging cable. Okay. And then now we have the version one. Pull it out. Pop this thing out. Oh, the version. Looks so three. nice. Pack everything back up nice and neat. Oh my gosh, guys. Here is the Pendulum Color Three Nightmare Soldier. I really like it. Is that brown or red? That is red, buddy. That is a nice red, too. And I got black buttons and a black cage. This is awesome. It is the color scheme that Daddy has tattooed on him. Because the original versions of these came out in two color schemes. The original Pendulums. But the Pendulum Colors only came out in one color scheme. After that, to totally on the edited time skip, I opened up the pendulum color too so let's check it out it looks so good those colors look so vibrant on these yeah, devices like, it looks so cool look look at this it looks so cool when you look at this look at it look at it <laughs> all right so now that we've mm. unboxed all three let's start them up and get them all going yeah so Debbie dude do you want to start this one for me yeah let's go all right so in order to start them and as soon as it starts we're going to put it on okay. camera Debbie dude so you got to be quick about it okay so in order to start them you hold down the c button here okay same way to also turn them off when it comes down to there we go Ooh, yeah. well hold on Debbie dude right over there so we can see all three on camera they all look great. Each one has their box mascot on them. Looking absolutely amazing. Awesome. All right, so now we got to start pushing buttons here to set the time on them. Push the middle button, and we're just going to go with 4 p.m. right now. I thought it was like Oops. 3. No, it doesn't matter. I'm picking a random time, Debbie Dude. Okay. That's all, because I'm going to reset the correct time later. Okay, 3.44. Yep. And now set. And then I'm going to put all, look at each egg. Oh. Oh, it looks so good in yeah. color. Yeah, so that awesome. looks so amazing before the eggs hatch. Let's just make sure we get a good look at each one before the eggs hatch. But that Nightmare Soldier egg has always look been one of my background. favorites. People, look at this background. They can't see when you're over there. There you go. It looks so good. Look at that background. All right, Debbie, dude, put it over here with the rest so we can get all three on camera when they start the hatch. Will they sit up nicely that way? Yeah, there we go. All right, dudes. Oh, I'm sorry. Debbie, dude, shake like heck. Shake like heck. Shake, 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 shake. You're shaking for your life. I completely forgot about these. I don't think ah, you pulled ah, it off. Ah. I can oh. still pull it off. The eggs hatch yet? No. Oh, eggs are hatching. Not mine, though. Oh. Mine isn't hatching. I don't know why my egg isn't hatching. Oh, it is. It hasn't hatched yet, Daddy. Okay, keep on shaking then. Keep on shaking then. The reason we're shaking like crazy right now, because I completely forgot about this, so excited about how nice they look, it is has. the fact that you can get a 10% bonus to your strength in battle if you can shake it 100 or plus times before the egg hatches. So with the OG ones, woke up. there you go. So with the OG ones, you shook it a hundred times before the egg hatch and it gave you a bonus to your evolution percentage. But these ones don't do that. Your evolutions are a lot easier to get on the newer devices than they are on the original ones. Mm -hmm. So they kept that same feature, but they changed what stat they're going to be getting a bonus to. Mm -hmm. Now it gives you a bonus to your strength. So you can have a stronger Digimon if you shake it 100 plus... 
could be 100 exact, but if you go over 100, it doesn't matter. Um, it just has to be 100 plus before the egg hatches. So now that we've talked about that, let's start taking care of them and looking at each one. So we have the deep savers right here. This baby looks so good here. I do want to mention that these devices are all English. Everything on these devices are English. This is not an English release. It is a Japanese only release. But because the original pendulums were in English, they kept these in English. If we go here and we look at our stats, there is a brand new function right here. Album. This just shows you every Digimon you raised. It doesn't give you their names or anything. It just shows you a picture of each one. Like a real album. And then or... it just shows you also, if you haven't raised it, it just looks like a blank egg and tells you what number they are in the, like, the decks. If we go to your stats, we are zero years old. We are five gigs. Hunger is empty. Strength is empty. And then effort is empty. But on these, effort actually works on these. Like the other ones, they technically worked, but it wasn't really anything special because a lot of the trainings you needed to go way over the effort meter. But this one, all anytime you need the training for an evolution, it'll fit within your effort meter here. So your effort actually really works and counts and helps. And then we have one last brand new feature here called conditions. This is basically your care mistakes. When your hearts are completely empty, then basically you have a, um, a negative to your Digimon in some way. And you'll need those for different evolutions and stuff. We already got one. No, we have not gotten a care mistake no, yet. But look at No, no, the heart, heart. Start, it starts full. So we're going to oh. feed our Digimon now. What's happening here? He's calling again. Okay. If we don't answer him, he's probably going to actually get a care mistake. I'm going to give him a vitamin for now. And then we'll pop over here. Oh, it's also he pooped. So uh. let's check out that feature, which is just a flush. But it looks good. Oh, man, these devices look so good. We'll go over here. Let's check them all out. Everything is as you can see. Blah, 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 blah. Let's take care of them first, dudes. Fill up that hunger. I'm just going to give them each a vitamin because I want to talk about the training because that's new on these ones, how they did the training, and I like it. I like it a lot. And then over here, clean up the poop. Your little poopy monster. All right. Why do they have to do the poop? Because it's part of taking care of a pet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So now that... Oh, there's a couple other things in the stats we should talk about, too. Now we have our DP, or Digimon Power, which only in this one... In the original Pendulums, it was a lot of different functions that counted for, but now it only counts for how many battles you can do and that's it. And from what I've seen online, they give you way more than you'll ever need. And then if we go over here, this tells you your Digimon's typing, if they can battle, or if they can jogress. There's X's through them right now, so that means he cannot battle and he cannot jogress because he's a baby. Um, battling, you can start doing at child level or um, rookie for you English dub fans. And then jog wrestling you can start doing at adult level or a champion for the dub fans. Let's also check out the training now because the training is different on these original pendulums. You had each Digimon had a certain. Oh, what's happening here? We're getting a call. Strength's already dropped. Okay, so we'll start with him then. So on the original pendulums. You had a certain number for each Digimon you had to shake. On the new ones now, it does it a little bit differently. It makes it a lot easier, but it's still a fun way, I think. I like it. So what they're going to do is they're going to show you what color you have to shake to. So we got to shake to red. And as you guys can see here, it turned blue. And we didn't get it fast enough for red. So let's show what happens here. We only got one super hit accounted for. So you got to get five super hits in order to count for a mega and the fully charged. So again, it's red. This time I'll shake it a bit better here. Turn yellow. And I didn't see if we actually got to red in time. Oh, we must have gotten to red because we got the mega hit. So we just got to red in time. But as you guys saw there, 
and we had blue, yellow, and red. And then if we go over here, we'll do it again. This one wants red again. It'll show you on the ready screen what color you have to shake red. to. Oh, we didn't get red that time. We stopped only on yellow. It would be a lot easier for me to do if I wasn't trying to do it on camera like this. Because I'm also trying to knock, the trying not I, to knock over the camera at the same time. I thought I saw the red. And again, this one needs red also. Why do they all like color the red so much? I like There we go. We definitely red. got the red that time. But as you saw there, it was yellow, yeah. blue, and yeah. red. And depending on your Digimon, you're going to need to shake to that color. So these things are looking absolutely phenomenal. They are so nice. There is a lot going on in them. But one thing I want to do right now is I want to compare them to the originals. So I happen to be a massive Pendulum fan, so I have all the original versions here to compare them to. Except our, or, um, Pendulum 3 is upgraded. No, that one's the original oh. one. That's just the other color version. Because remember how... Have the we do have an upgraded one, a custom version here also. Here. But like I was saying... They came in two different color versions, the original ones. And I happen to have some of the other color versions here, which I like because then I know and I can see that they're different, but I also like mm. having the different ones for my collection. So let's take a look at them now and compare them. So we have the color and we have the original here. The, they originally came out in the black and gray version and the blue and, well, black and silver and blue and silver. But the color only came in the blue and silver. The buttons on these colors look really nice in general, and the whole screen here looks really good. Let's check out and compare size-wise. They are a bit thinner than the original ones, which is kind of nice. It's not too bad, because the um, colors were a bit chunkier, and these are a bit thinner, so I like that. Chunky, chunky! Obviously, we don't have a battery case on the mm -hmm. back, because it doesn't take batteries. It's rechargeable. We do have this little recharge, this little flap here that we can open up to get to our USB-C port. The only thing I don't like about this is that it just holds on with that little tiny peg there, and I feel like it's just going to come out sometimes. I don't feel like it's a really secure option there. I don't know. Maybe fans might come up with an option like later that we can like put in and stuff. When I hold it, I'm like, like when I hold it, I'm like. Wow, this thing would fall out. <laughs> but overall, I think they look really good as a comparison, side by side. So I do happen to have... Ooh. I do happen to have the same version here. And as we can see... They almost look like twinsies. Almost, but the color is a bit brighter of an orange than the original here. Yeah, the orange is a little bit darker on the original. It is, yeah. Let's look at the side view. We'll look at a nice side view here, a little up and down. They look so nice, and overall they feel like the same heft to them, and it doesn't feel fragile at all. It feels really sturdy and really solid. They look good. Um, the other color version of this came with silver buttons and a silver frame. And then here we'll look at the Nightmare Soldier. Which, the Nightmare Soldier here, this is the other version. And then, oh, we're Digivolving! Where, who's Digivolving next? Here we go. And then our third Digivolve. And as you guys can see there, we just unlocked, I right, didn't really unlock, but we kind of fill, it shows you filling in your library slot there, your album slot. Showing you slot two is filled in, and then he's the only one who's ready for sleep right now, which is all right, but we'll show you how that works. Because now our sleep options have changed a bit. So now we have lights, which is just how you turn them on and off in order to put your Digimon to sleep, and then cold... We'll put them in storage temporarily, and then change will be able to run another Digimon. You get two Digimon on these devices, one in backup and one as you're active. So if we go over here to lights, it'll just go to sleep. There we go. He is a sleepy, sleepy. Which it's weird that 
they're sleeping, but not these two. But each Digimon is different, and they all have their different characteristics, and I love that about Digimon. Um, since we're talking about sleep and different things like that, I want to talk about the care mistakes in particular on these devices. So, with a hunger or training care mistake, you get 10 minutes in order to answer that Digimon. Anything after that point is going to count for a care mistake on your Digimon. And then to put them to sleep, you have a full mm -hmm. hour before you can. So if the Digimon goes to sleep at 8 p.m., you have till 9 p.m. before you get a care mistake on that Digimon. That's a really long time. That's way longer than the original devices. So I kind of like that. Um, the camera steak timing is good. I think 10 minutes is good. The hour is overkill in my opinion. Oh, somebody else is calling. Which one is it? It's over here. Nature Spirits. I got too many devices out in front of me. What do we need? Strength is down. So we are going to go over here and we're going to do some training. Once again, we are back needing red and we're just going to shake like crazy. There we go. And if you shake red, it's going to fill up all your hearts. You're going to get the best hit you can. And everybody's going to be all happy. Ooh, that looked nice. Looking at those condition hearts we just saw there is going to play a big factor in digivolving from baby two into child level. Because all the evolutions are going to be determined by your condition hearts and the amount of training that you did in order to digivolve. On the OG ones, it's just determined by the amount of care mistakes you have. But now they added the training factor into it, and those condition hearts are basically going to be your care mistake counters on these. The more care mistakes you get, the hearts will start dropping until they're empty, is the way it's going to work. And then once they're empty for that evolution, that stage, they will stay empty. They will refill once you digivolve again. So, like, for example, now, if we emptied one of the hearts on one of the devices, they're going to stay empty until they digivolve into child level, and then they're going to be refilled again, is the way that works. Because that is a brand new function and mechanic to these devices that we've never seen on any Digimon device before. And I think it's really fun, but I'm really excited to see how it's really going to play into everything. We're going to leave it here at this portion right now, guys, but we're not done by any means. We have more to show you guys. The episode's not over. We're just going to take a break at this portion and come back when we've digivolved into child level and how we got them. So this is pretty much going to be a blind run through on these devices like we always do when we get new devices. But at the same time, it's not a blind run through because I've used the pendulum devices so many times. They are my favorites, the OG pendulums. I know them inside and out. So I have a general idea how to get Digimon and stuff. But I am, there's a lot of new mechanics and things being added that do change it up a bit. And we're going to be showing, playing, and trying to figure out with you guys as we go. So, like I said, we'll be back in just a sec when we hit child level. And we have new Digimon to show you. Yeah! Alright, dude, so we are back. We've Digivolved. We are at child level now. We're really excited. And there's now that I've had it for like a full 24 hours... My initial excitement has calmed down. I'm less babbling now, and I've had a lot more time to practice, use these devices, and then talk to you and show you some of the fun little details and things like that. Because anytime we get a new product, a new Digimon in, a new V-Pad or something, I'm always super excited and super amped about it. And sometimes I forget to talk about like the little things and the details. So now we're going to start covering things like that now. And then I'll show you who we all Digivolved into and how I got them. Ready, Debbie Dude? Yeah! Okay, so I told Debbie Dude who I've digivolved into, but I haven't actually showed him yet, so he doesn't so he hasn't I seen forgot. the color sprites yet on them. I forgot these two already. <laughs> I know, because the Nightmare Soldier is the one you're really excited about. Yeah. So we're gonna it's start in number I order. Care about. We are gonna go with our nature spirits here. Let us see it! And I have Tentomon! Tentomon! Now, Izzy, we shouldn't do that! Stop playing around with your computer! <laughs> gonna clean up his poop. It looks super excited. I love the happy, like, mo animation it does. I'm a big fan of the Bug Digimon, and that's why I went with Tentomon here. So in order to get Tentomon, I made sure that our condition hearts were f stayed at max, and... 
I um, had max effort because, like I said before, digivolving from baby two into child level, it's all about your condition hearts and your effort. Now let's just take a look at him. Go to status. He's one year old, 15 gigs. Man, he's got to a lot of concerts. <laughs> His hunger hearts are full right now. Strength's dropped by one. Effort is full. And he has three constant... Um, conditions. Sorry, guys. Stumbling on my words there. He's got three condition hearts now. Because, like I said, each Digimon will have a different amount of condition hearts for them. So now he's got three. And as we can see, he still has all three here. Oh, didn't mean to pop over the time. Another thing I want to show off and talk about is with the training, on the OG ones, they all had their own different mega hit animation there. Like it said, Mega Hit in a different way on each one, and I love that the colors kept that. So that's what it says on the version 1. And then let's pop over the version 2 and see who we got. I got Shakuamon here. Or Sakuman, sorry. And for him, I went with zero condition hearts and no effort. Dang, he has been lazy. He's just eating his popcorn. We got one year old, 10 gigs, full hunger, one strength has dropped, and we had two effort hearts right now, and zero condition hearts. I'm trying to take different care, kind of, of each one to show you what we're going to end up with. Oh, yeah, and now that we've hit child level, we can battle now, and our DP is 50, which is an insane amount for a pendulum. And as we can see here, we are virus type. We can battle, so it's a zero now, but we cannot jog it, so it's still an X. And I haven't done any battles yet, so our win ratios are still zeros. And I haven't done any battles on any of them yet. Oops, there we go. We gotta get blue, so. He likes the color blue. I really like that shade of blue, too. We'll show them off real quick here. Man, you did good on that one. And then that's what the Mega Hit animation is for this version. And then now we'll go over to the Nightmare Soldier where we got... Pico Devamon! Pico Devamon or Demi Devamon for the English dub fans. We got our buddy over here. He's on both of our evolution lines. Digimon I have tattooed on my arm with pretty much this device. Is this color palette. Let's check them out. Status, we are one year old, eight gigs, full hunger. We're down one strength right now. Dang, he's got... Effort is maxed, and we have both of our condition hearts. He started with two and only has two right now. Dang, he's going to a lot of concerts with your first one, too. <laughs> and then we're going to go over here to training. He's also blue. I really, really like the training and how they're doing it here. The Pen Z wasn't, it was an improvement over the Pendulum 20th and how they did it with the accelerometers in them, but this system works really nicely and I really like it. I am having a lot of fun using this new training system they've been having on these devices. Wait, can I try, please? Yeah, you can do this one. Okay. Because Daddy's holding this one. I'm going to keep on using it for what we got to talk about. Okay, I need to. So, we went over condition hearts, how they work, what they are, and everything like that as our new function. We went over the new style of training. Now I want to talk about connections. As you can see here, it's white out. You can't do it. Yeah. But it is a pendulum, so we can jogress I got on a these mega devices. Hit. Awesome, buddy! We can jogress nice on these devices. There's two different forms of jogressing you can do. One is you could use one of your backup Digimon and only needing one device. You raise two Digimon on one device, jogress the two of them together, or you could do a connection yeah. jogress by connecting That's two devices so together and jogressing your two Digimon together. I do want to say though, you can unlock and swap backgrounds on these devices like you can do on the DM colors, but jogressing yeah. does not count for that. If you jogress with another device, 
it doesn't count for a connection and you won't get the background I from got, that device. I got three mega hits in a row and no who met, and I got none messed up. Very nice, Debbie Dude. And then if we go to battle here, we have our quest battles and connection battles. So quest battles, the same thing we've been having on all modern devices, where you just battle a couple of Digimon and then battle, that's battle. it. You can battle the preset Digimon battle, battle. on there, work your way through. Battle, battle. On the pendulum colors, oh, just bitch. like the DM colors, you can unlock new backgrounds by doing that. Speaking of backgrounds, we'll just show off how we can get them. You just gotta hold down the C button. And then BG stands for backgrounds. And then this is another one that just comes on the device as soon as you start it. And then we have the Nightmare Soldier. We haven't done anything yet to unlock any new backgrounds. You could also adjust the brightness, adjust the sound. There's multiple levels there for that. And then this is just to turn the device off. As you can see up there, that's how our, full our battery life is. I have not charged these yet. I'm going to go through without charging them straight out of the box just to show you guys on how long it'll take before you need to charge it straight out of the box. But in general, with the Digimon colors, um, the DM colors, they would last about a week on a full charge with normal use. So I'm assuming these are probably the same. They're going to keep around there. Now, in order to Digivolve from child level to adult level or rookie to, um, uh, what can I remember right now, champion, for you dub fans there, you, again, it's going to be everything is going to be about your condition hearts and your effort hearts being put in. I will admit, the new system they are having with the effort hearts on this has been really nice. So basically, effort hearts have been around for a while now, since the DM 20th at least. And um, they've always just been like every four trainings is one full heart. If you do 16 trainings, it'll fill the entire all. Um, four hearts up but a lot of the different devices required way more than 16 trainings in order to digivolve in the different evolutions especially the dm colors because they followed the remakes of the original version dms which had really high and insane amount of trainings you needed to get in order to digivolve into those different digimon well with the dm oh, sorry with the pendulum colors they changed that the most you'll need is 16. So those effort hearts actually matter now. It's a great way to keep track of how much training you've done for your Digimon. And I really like that adjustment they made. And it makes it relevant and a useful tool. So that's a lot of fun. That's really cool. We're going to end this portion right here, dudes. We're going to be back in just a second for you guys when we hit adult level. And once we hit adult level, then we're going to start doing some jaw dressing because it's, it's a pendulum. Jaw dressing is a lot of fun. It's a major mechanic of the pendulum. And we're really excited about that. So this guy I am going to continue taking perfect care of to get like the best adult option we can have. This guy, we're going for Devamon. There's no other Digimon we'd possibly be trying to get. I know how to get him based on my experiences with the OG Pendulums. And again, I have an idea of who I'm going to be Digivolving into here. But I'm not going to tell you guys. I'll just let it happen. And then this one, I'm going to be taking slightly less care of it. As we already saw, both my condition hearts are gone already. And then I'm just going to put a little bit more in effort, but I'm not going to max out the effort to see who we're going to get on this device and kind of change it up in different pathways. But we'll end up doing some jog dressing and our next step and when we show our adult level Digimon. And I'm really stoked about this, guys. So be back in just a sec for you, and then we'll have some adult level Digimon to show off. Yeah! We've Digivolved, dudes. We are now at adult level or champion for you dub fans out there. We've got some really awesome Digimon. And now we're going to really do some really fun things with our devices now. So let's check out who we have. And then we'll talk about what we're going to do and how we're going to do it. So on the nature spirit, we have Kabuterimon. He's looking so awesome. So he just got good care, full effort. And we got Kabuterimon. Then we got Gesomon, which he had bad care and three effort hearts is how we ended up getting him. 
Looking super cool though. This is one of my favorite Digimon on this device. And then, of course, this one was a no-brainer. We had to raise Devi Dude's partner, Devamon, right here. Looking super awesome. So now that we've Digivolved into adult level, we have two possible options for evolution. We can Digivolve naturally. In order to do that, you need to do at least 15 battles, and then your win percentage will determine if you're going to Digivolve or not. So... We go here to ours. Our win percentage is 80%. That is going to guarantee you to Digivolve. Anything from 40 to 79 is a possibility of Digivolving, most likely, but it's still a possibility. You might not. But if you get over 80%, you're guaranteed to Digivolve. It doesn't matter how many battles you have. What matters was that percentage. So Devamon here is 100% set for a natural evolution. And what I did in order to do those battles was I just went to the quest mode in here and I just did some of the levels. Just like this. Why did he have such a big toothy grin? He had a really toothy grin. I agree with that. And then as you guys can see, they got the little health bars behind them. I love that. Oh, he dodged. Mm-hmm. Blast him! Oh, he dodged. Hoo-ya! Is he done duck? Oh! And then we lost one health bar there. He got hit in the head. And there we go. We took him out. Oof. Easy win for Devamon. And then it would continue on until you clear the level. But we're not going to do that right now. Because we have other things we want to show off. The other way to Digivolve on these devices is to Jogress like we talked yeah, about. Let's jog and we're going to Jogress these two dudes together. So we're going to go over here to Connection once again. Go down to Jogress. And then, like I said, you can use a backup Digimon or Connection style. I don't have anyone backed up because this is our first run. So we're going to go to Connection. This is the first ever time we are connecting our Digimon together. Let the fusion Now I have no idea who we're going to end up getting on these ones. So I'm really excited to see who we get. Oh, so we got Piximon and Scorpiomon. And as you guys saw there, we cleared a new spot in our Dex entry, or... What do they call it? A library? Dex? I forgot. What does it say? Let's feel some again! Album. That's what it is. Now, that's another thing I want to test out here. So, because it doesn't use our DP for jogressing like the OG ones do, I wonder if we could just jogress again together like you can on the Pen X. And I mean, the Pen Z. And get Final Form right away. Yeah! So, let's try this and see if it works. If we could just continuously jogress, jogress together. It does! Yes! You can continuously just jogress right up. So obviously, as you guys saw there, we went from perfect level, and now we're going to ultimate level here. Or mega for you dub fans. With Plesiomon and Saber Leomon. Both cats. Both Digimon... Well, no, he's not a cat. He's actually based off of a um, type of dinosaur. Yeah. Both Digimon can also jogress again, but it's they... It's also the ultimate! into a super ultimate level, but they're specific Jogress combinations. So it's not these two. They can't actually Jogress together. But what we can do now is we can battle each other by battling any other device than your own um, version. You can unlock these special evolutions, the special Digimon on there. So for this one, it's Angoramon. For this one, it's Jellymon and it's associated evolutions. So by doing a connection battles now, we're going to be able to unlock those Digimon for these devices, and we're going to be able to get the backgrounds from these devices too. They both need yellow. There we go. To give them a fair shot against each other. Let's see who will win. One or two. Which version's going to be oh. the winner, guys? I vote Cyber Leomon. Saber Leomon? Yes, Saber Leomon. It's pretty even right now. Oh, Saber Leomon lost! It was Plesiomon won. 
And there we go. There's the special evolution line. We're unlocking all the versions, all the different evolutions for them now. Who is it? Who is it? Well, we're not going to see unless we unless we raise them. But now we have them as the option. And now they got each other's backgrounds on there. Very cool. So I'm going to leave Devamon the way he is because I wanted to Digivolve naturally because that's what Devi Dude and I decided. Um, I could try to raise another Digimon here with these guys, put him in storage, and then Jogress him on up and things like that. But I don't want to do that. I'm just going to continue raising him naturally. I've got two perfect level, I mean ultimate level Digimon. Sorry, guys. Two ultimate level Digimon here that are super awesome. I'm very excited for them. Um, both classic Digimon to here because they did add new Digimon to these devices, including that special Jogress Digimon on there. And I do want to mention that these devices do have the 0.5 versions on them also. It's all one ev it's all one evolution tree. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, the original Pendulums came out and then they released later on a 0.5 version of it. So it'd be one point. So this would be. The original, so if this was the original, this would be the Pendulum 1, and then there'd be a Pendulum 1.5 version that got released along with it, where they just swapped out a couple Digimon on it and gave you different options. Like, it was one adult level, one perfect level, and one ultimate level Digimon got swapped on it. And then these also include all of that. So it's not like there's going to be a separate version of it coming out to get those Digimon. And then, like I said, there were some other Digimon just added to them. Devices that weren't originally on the Pendulums. But they're really cool additions. I do want to mention, though, that it is pretty much absolutely confirmed that we are going to be getting the Wave 2. Which is the Wingardians, the Metal Empire, and the Virus Busters. We have the Wingardians. No, I mean in the color. Not the OG ones that I we know, did. that's the Wingardians right there, the first one. Nope, that's Nature Spirit. This one's the Wingardians. Oh. Yeah. So, we are pretty much guaranteed that it's going to happen. With data mining on here, all of the stuff in order for it to be there is already there, they've discovered. They also discovered if you connect all six devices together, you can unlock the folder continent background, too, just like... When you connected all five of the DM colors, you got File Island background. You can do that with these ones too. I do know that um, uh, Humulos already has them up on the Digimon Hatchery website. Um, codes that you can battle against. So then you can unlock those backgrounds for your colors right now if you want. If you have a ACOM. So that was a really cool thing. I'm really excited about these. I think these are awesome devices. There's a lot, a lot of great little things that they added to them that don't seem like big changes, but it really makes it a lot more fun. Like, I really like the way they did the training on these versus the way they did it with the Pen Zs. I think it's a lot easier, better, and the um, uh, accelerometer in them seems to track a lot better because, yes, there's a pendulum in these, but that's just there for nostalgia. It doesn't use that actual pendulum shaking around there at all. There's an accelerometer in here, and that's what's counting your shakes in order to get to the right spots. But I think it works a lot better than the Pen Z did, and definitely a lot better than the Pendulum 20th did. And then I think the addition of the album is really cool, a lot of fun. The way they did the lights on here I think was great. And I'm really enjoying the condition hearts here and showing you how to get those condition hearts and how that works. Um, I was, when I originally saw it announced and stuff, I saw things like it when it first came out. I wasn't, I was just like, this doesn't seem necessary to me. I've never had a problem with keeping track of care mistakes. Occasionally I mess up, obviously, but it's never been a big deal to me. It's added an extra layer of difficulty to them. But I do think this was a very nice addition now that I've started using it and I can have it and see it. I've been very fond of it. So I think this has been great. If you guys enjoy this, if you found this very knowledgeable in any way, please make sure you giga blast that like button. And touch me on the subscribe button down below. It helps us out a ton. Thank you to everybody who watches, likes, comments, subscribes. You're all amazing. I want to hear from you guys down in the comments. What do you think of these devices? If you got them, let me know which versions you got. If you didn't get them, let me know if you thought this was a good device. 
and something you might want to get because honestly, I think this might be my new favorite device right here. The pendulum colors are absolutely amazing. Mm. And then huge shout outs and thank you to our Patreon supporters over here. You guys are absolutely digitastic. Thank you so much for helping to support the channel. Please, if you guys want to help support the channel, go check out our link down in the description there to our Patreon, or you can just hit the join button right here on YouTube and become a YouTube member and join right through there to help support the channel. You guys get early access to our videos, access to the Discord group where we're constantly chatting about Digimon. We got our own hatches and things happening there. Lots of fun. And Wizard yeah, guys. Wizardmon! Debbie Dude's over here just wrecking through the adventure mode here, the quest here. We've had a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying these devices. There's definitely going to be a lot more content on them. I think the yeah. next thing I'm going to do once I finish the run on this device here is I'm probably going to do a yes, comparison. Man. I'm going to run an OG one with one of the new colors side by side, compare the evolution times on them, the differences, and talk about those in case you guys want to know that. Definitely, if you want to see that video, let me know by gigablasting that like oh. button and telling me down in the comments there. Tell me which version we should run for that video. If we should be running the Nature Spirits, the Deep Savers, or the Nightmare Soldiers. All right, dudes. As always, from me, my family, to you. Have a digitastic day!